Hello guys, in this video we'll talk about QR code where QR stands for it is quick response. So QR code is quick response code. So if you are used any Android phone or Blackberry or iPhone, you might be knowing about this concept. So in this video what we'll do is we'll create a QR code from a text. So before creating QR code, let me create a string variable of which I want to create a QR code. And the string variable will have as let's say details, okay, uh, details about my web uh, about my channel. So my name is Navin Reddy, and my channel name is let's say channel name is let's Telesco Learnings. Okay, so we have this string here. And that's it. So when I when you uh, when you create a, a QR code of it, and if you scan that QR code with your mobile phone using a QR code app, you will see this text written there. Now question arises: How to create a QR code? Now QR creating a QR code is not that easy by writing Java codes, right? Because it it needs some functionality which you have to use from some libraries. So on GitHub or on Google, you will find uh, lots of libraries of which you can you can you can use those libraries to create qr codes now those libraries are so i have already downloaded those libraries so you can use something called as uh, this uh, zzinc and zzinc uh, j2se now these two files are from zebra crossing so they have created this uh, jar files and then we have one more which is qr generator so QR generator is depend on these two libraries here. Now we, what we need to do is we need to include those libraries in our project. So let me go to this area in this code generator. So right click on your library in your project area and then you can click on add jar files. And you can just navigate to your folder. So I have stored in my lib folder here in my uh, uh, E drive. And let me select all these jar files and say open. Now, once I say open in my jar file, I have already added those elements. Now, in order to use it, first we need to create an object of byte array output stream, which is a Java, so Java class which belongs to our package Java.io. Because of this class, we can we can uh, create those image here, and we'll name this as out equal to. Now, in order to use that uh, class, which is belong to this QR, the library we are using, the class name is QR code. And in this QR code, we can mention the text we want to create. So the, the text name is uh, this, which is from. In this from, you can pass your string with details. So it will con create a, a QR code, which is stream format of this details. So in order to convert that into a stream format, we have to say from, and then we have to specify the image type. So to specify the image type, we have to say dot, and again, we have to use two. So image type can be of anything. It can be of JPEG or it can be a PNG. So we'll go for JPEG this time. And then we'll say convert this data into stream format because this object here, which is out object only takes stream because it is object of byte array output stream okay now what next now once you got this out stream we need a file where you can where we can write this code so we have we need a file object we'll say file f equal to new file and in this we can mention the file name and the file name let's say we have in e drive uh, in the same folder so let me just uh, copy the copy the uh, path here so let's say copy and i will use the same path let me just paste it here. And in this, I will I need to mention the file name and we'll say this is uh, my channel dot jpg. So this is my file name here. And yeah, that's it. And let's import the package. So in order to import the package, so just say control shift I in it means it will import the package for the file. Now, once you got the file object, we need the object of file output stream, which will help us to write the ob uh, data into the file. So we'll say file output stream and we'll name it as FOS equal to new file output stream. So if you don't know how to use file, you can watch my video uh, on file handling. 
Now, uh, let's import the package. So package import done. Now it says that there, there, there might be a chance that it will throw an exception, so you have to handle it. So we can use try catch, but uh, I'm lazy, so we'll just suppress the error. So we'll say throws exception, so it will handle all the errors, or it will suppress all the errors. Now once you got the object of FOS, we can simply say write. Because to in order to write the data into the file, we have to say write. But this write function here will only take, so if you see the signature of write, it takes the array of bytes. So in order to take the array of bytes, if you pass here out, out is the object of byte array, right? So we need to use a method called as two byte array, which will convert your bytes into array. Now once you're done with that, it will wait for the buffer to be full. We don't want it to wait, so we can simply say flush. And then that's it. So once you say flush, it, it's done. Uh, using this code now, so if I run this code, it will first create this string, which is uh, Navin, uh, Navin Reddy channel name Telsco Learnings. Uh, we'll use a hyphen here. And then we can create a byte output stream object using QR code dot from dot to. So this is from these details to this image type. And then we need to specify the location where you want to store, and the location is this. And then we need to create this. Uh, object of FOS to store into the file. And then we have to say out dot two byte array, which will convert your uh, byte array object into a byte, a, byte add, a byte array output stream object into a byte array. So now let's run this. So right click and say run. Uh, once you run this code, you can see it says build successful. And the output you'll be getting is in this folder. So you can see there's an image here called as my channel. And if I open this, and here we go. So this is your uh, QR code. So after running this, what you can do is you can just go to your, um, you can take your mobile phone, download an app, any app will do, which will which can uh, scan the QR code. And you can just verify if you can just scan those code, it will say, my Navin Reddy channel name Telsco Learnings. Simple, right? So this is how we need to create a, QR code using Java, provided you are using these three, this three libraries. You know, you will say, "What's the big, big deal when you when you are using these libraries?" Of course, when you when you are working on any project, you have to use some inbuilt libraries. So this is how we need to create an image using these libraries. So that is from this video. So if you like this video, so do like or do thumbs up, and do subscribe for the further videos. Thank you so much.